Hey guys, I am Dr. Dave. I am a board certified diplomat physician and of course a chef. Indeed, and I'm Venus Quintana. I am a certified nutritionist and a food journalist. And together yeah, we, we are, are getting, getting hot in, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. So sexy, good looking, what mm -hmm. is cooking? Mm -hmm. You gotta tell me. <laughs> we are going to be making an amazing dish today, a healthy shepherd's pie. Shepherd, shepherd, oh, shepherd. My goodness. How do you pronounce it? Who cares? It's delicious, exactly. right? Exactly. A lot of people might not know what shepherd's pie is. Uh, actually, shepherd's pie originated in Ireland back in the Ireland? 1800s. Oh, this is something I wanted to know about <laughs> in my life. I used to eat shepherd's pie growing up in London you did so now. many years Wait, ago. Wait, London? I thought it was oh, Brooklyn. Oh, he's doing said. his terrible Irish accent Brooklyn again. Brooklyn, dear, not London. <laughs> Stop it. But I actually did uh, used to eat shepherd's pie growing up in London. My family made it all the time. Well, the difference is, is that we made it with mashed potatoes because back then, wait, in wait, Britain, it's potatoes. But you say potato, I, I say, say potato. potato. <laughs> Either way, we'll get rid of them. <laughs> exactly. But what we're doing differently here is we're actually going to be making it with a cauliflower mash. Yes. So we're cutting the carbs, we're cutting the calories. This is all around a really nice, healthy meal that actually can be put together very easily and Absolutely. on a low budget. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Venus's portion. My portion, Are you or shall serious? I say family size, individual no, size. I'm, I'm taking both of those. I hey, like to eat. Don't be fresh <laughs> in the kitchen. Don't be fresh. We use this to keep people under control. This is a fun, fun dish to make. It's great for the winter time. After you cook, you put it in the pot, you put it aside, get it in the oven anytime you want. Ooh, I say we anytime get, I want. Anytime you want. I like that. <laughs> I say we get cooking. So let us ignite your passion for foods. All right, here's where we kick off the dish, guys. Super simple. This is organic uh, cauliflower, which I've cut up into little florets. Venus, give us some of the health properties. Oh my goodness, properties. we absolutely love cauliflower. Cauliflower is actually a cruciferous vegetable, similar to other vegetables like kale, Brussels sprouts. I know sometimes people don't like Brussels sprouts, but we have a lot of high fiber absolutely. here. We have vitamin C. It's actually really low carb compared it is. to it is. Uh, p regular potatoes, right? Exactly. So we've got we've got those cooking in the chicken broth. That's now right. what what's next? All right. So these are organic vine ripened tomatoes, which are high. Wait, you mean tomatoes? Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna put them in the water real quick, guys. It's gonna get the skin off, and we're gonna deseed them, which gets rid of some of the lectins. The lectins are inflammatory. Absolutely. Right? So what are some of the health giving properties so of the tomatoes? So for tomatoes, we have a high vitamin C, we have lycopene. Um, they actually are a nightshade vegetable, so just be careful with these if you have uh, any kind of arthritis mm -hmm. or any kind of um, inflammatory sort of situations going on. But other than that, tomatoes, tomatoes are very healthy. Absolutely. Right? So next thing we're going to do, as this cauliflower is getting mushad or a little mush down, yes. so we can mash it, what we're going to do next is actually going to saute up the veggies. So we have onions, which are wonderful because they have allicillin. Yes, allicillin onions are great. is amazing in the winter because it's antiviral, antifungal. Might give you a bit of bad breath, but other than that, it's very healthy Exactly. <laughs> Love onions. So we're going to put a little okay. bit of that in there too I'm with a little put olive some oil. In this. Absolutely. Let's get that going here. So what we've Ooh, chosen to that. do, guys, is I do Woo. the vegetables a little separate. So we're going to do peas, onions, Ooh, and peas. Carrots. You know, I love mushy peas. Growing up in London, mushy peas was actually a very, very fun dish. It was pretty much just those peas just mushed up until it looked like throw up. I mean, I hate to say that, but. <laughs> well, the mushy peas. Mushy so what we're gonna do, guys, so here onions. is this organic lamb I had ground up to order. Right here with the so I'm gonna red, red beef, get that going good. very quick. You got quick. omegas, you have CLA, conjugated linoleic acid. It's a great, nice little combination of meat. Always try to go organic whenever you can. Mints. Mints. In London, we call ground beef mints. Yes. And yes. I know nobody over here knows what that means, but um, but don't mistake that with mint meat. No. Um, which is almost kind of like a very sweet filling. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get that going. Just gonna come in here with a little Himalayan sea salt, which is great mm -hmm. flavor. Got some minerals in it. Cracked black pepper. Always like to go with that. Now in this little saute, I'm gonna put a little fresh dill. And what we do, guys, check this out. 
Full jar, clean the bottoms up, put it in water. Yes. It's like a planter, but it keeps your herbs really fresh. And as much as possible, try and use fresh herbs. Always. You know, dried herbs, obviously, if you don't have fresh, but fresh really imparts that wonderful flavor into the dish. Yes. Okay. A little bill in here. So that's looking good. Absolutely. Cast iron is nice and hot. Absolutely. And this is what I love about the cast iron. Love the dill. Iron. Love the love the oh, love the dill, right? Oh, that looks amazing. Look the at those smell. colors. Now, if you guys notice, even though Venus is from the UK, Irish, top of the morning to you. What <laughs> colors do we have here? We have green, orange, and white. Oh, Just like Ireland. Yes, All right, indeed. so touche, my dear. Touche. Touche. <laughs> This stuff is great. I use chicken stock in here, guys, yes. instead of water. Otherwise, it gets a little bit of a kind of a watered down flavor, as it might yes. sound with water. This is a nice flavor. And at the end, we're going to mash it a dab of butter and egg and a little grated cheese because every Irish household has grated cheese. Look at Tello Romano. I'm sure. <laughs> we love Maybe cheese, not. guys. Not the healthiest, but no. hey. So but just make sure that you keep. Um, moving that. Moving this, yes. right? Because we want to really get it so it's not, um, you know, the, the bits we don't want, big bits. We want it to be nice and crumbled. Guys, a little time, because it's time to Ooh, put in time some to eat. beautiful flavor. I am starving. That looks amazing. Look how easy this is. At the end, everything goes into the one pot. Mm -hmm. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Couldn't be eat. Oh, Bob's your uncle. Did you know that expression? I do. Hello. I taught you that oh. expression. How dare you? How dare I take credit <laughs> their own? All right. So this is great. This. So what's going on? So this is nearly done. We are done. having a great time here cooking. We are. Look how easy that is. That's actually going to be done soon, right? Yep. All right. So. We'll be right back, guys. All right, it is getting super hot in here, but I'm liking it. Oh, steam hot. I am hot. liking it. <laughs> this is where it all comes together, guys. Let's get that Kali mash down. So we're going to put a little pat of butter in here. We're going to put a little bit of... Irish grated cheese. Grated cheese. <laughs> Not more than about a quarter of a cup. One egg just to kind of bind everything together. A little Ooh. bit of salt and pepper, and then we're basically just going to mash everything together. Absolutely. All right, so I'm going to start working on that. We start doing that. So over here, guys, okay. what we got going on is we're going to put those de-skinned, de-seeded tomatoes in for a little flavor. Let that cook down a little bit. A little Worcestershire sauce for flavor. Mm -hmm. Looks great. A little gravy master, which is just to give it a little dark color. And some organic beef stock. Just let that kind of come together. We don't want it too moist either. Really? I like it moist. <laughs> I like it moist too. <laughs> I definitely do. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's getting really hot in the kitchen and right now. And it should be. I might need a little paper towel in a minute. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, All right. So. All right. What do we what's got? What's next? So this is going to cook down. How's that looking? That's looking pretty Amazing. good. Amazing. That's all coming together all right. really nicely. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little thickening agent. It's like a little agar here. Mm -hmm. Just to thicken it up. Because once everything sits together in that pan, it is going to be ah, delicious. <laughs> excellent. Delicious. Excellent. This is not necessarily our first rodeo on this dish, though every time we make a dish, and I also ask you guys to do it. <laughs> Change it up, break it up. Exactly. Don't always use beef, don't always use lamb, Have use some, some bison, whatever you Have want. Have some fun. All right, here's where this beautiful dish comes together. Ready? So now all of this is going to go into there. So you've got yeah. your peas and your uh, onions and your carrot mixture. It's going to go right into the mints. Into the mince. Okay, and that looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at the colors, so now, vibrant. I like to say so just vibrant. a little bit of that for the end. You top it off, get some color on top. Otherwise, oh, all yeah. you got is a whole big white nest of cauliflower mash. Cauliflower's really good. Okay. And that was so easy to make. One, two, three, easy. Yeah. Oven's ready. We got the oven on at um, about 425. Yes, we right? do. Now, you'll finish it off with a nice broil at the end, too, to get those nice brown, exactly. complemented colors on top. That looks wonderful. This is like, you know, pretty much like, I don't know. Based in a uh, frosting a cake. Frosting I guess, a right? cake <laughs> without think, all the uh, calories. And that cauliflower mash is going to taste so delicious. Yes, yes. It really is. It's actually better than mashed potatoes. I mean, it if is. I'd have known this like what 40 years ago, 30 years ago, I just told my age, I I would have changed things. <laughs> but um, you're going to like this. And look how lovely he's putting the. Um, 
a little bit of a topping on there just to kind of add some flavor. Yep. So let's get that in the, the oven. oven. right? And guys, oh, it just go once around, keep things neat so when you present it, that it looks, looks amazing. nice to the eye. And look, so, uh, you know, as we told you before, we're actually making in cast iron. And the one thing we love, well, actually, there's so many things we love about cast iron. Of course, you're getting iron in your diet, which is yes. very important. Yes. Um, it's also going to create an even heat. You can put it directly from the stovetop into the oven and it makes everything super crispy, super crispy and delicious. Cast iron, you've got to go out and get yourself some cast yeah. iron. We use it all the time. And the best thing is when I clean, it's easy. Heat cleans. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You put yeah. it back on the stove, bring the heat back on so it exactly. doesn't rust. Hit it with a little olive oil. Super Bob's easy. Your uncle. Bob's, Bob's your, uncle. your uncle. All right. All right so now. that's done. Should we set the table? I think we should. I think we should. <laughs> The moment of truth, guys. Here it comes. Oh my goodness, the smell is absolutely oh, unbelievable. Baby, baby. Look at that. It oh. is sizzling. Absolutely amazing. And what we're going to do is basically just get some fresh herbs. Yeah. We have some fresh dill here that's already been cut up. Now, we folks, have some fresh flat leaf parsley, right? Absolutely. Always garnish up your, your, your uh, different dishes, your meals, so it gives it a little more color, flavor, textures, what have you. This is true, true comfort food without the guilt. Oh, yes, Without it is. the guilt. Look at so that. So tasty. Unbelievable. Venus. Perfect for a winter night. Amazing job. Right? <laughs> Amen. Oh, that was wonderful. Guys, this is true, true comfort food. No guilt. Enjoy it. Mm. Quick, easy, delicious, nutritious. What more can I say? So delicious. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dr. Dave. And I'm Venus Quintana. And we are getting, getting hot, hot in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Thanks so much for watching. We really hope you enjoyed the show. Please follow us on facebook.com slash ghitkshow. That's ghitkshow.